I remember back in 2021 when I started trading crypto. I really didn't know how to make money in crypto, how to buy coins, how to deposit money in a crypto account. And this days made me felt like crypto trading was so difficult. I got introduced into futures trading, although I really didn't know much about it. But then I took my life savings and deposited in my futures account. And one week after, I lost all of the money. And I had to pay someone 6,000 Naira to teach me how to trade crypto. Now, this was really painful because that was about 80% of the money I have saved up in two months of working in my previous company. But in this video, I want to teach you all of that for free. And you get to find out even more details about how to trade cryptocurrency and make money from crypto from this video. Let's get started. So first, let's start with what do you need to get started in crypto trading? Now, for you to get started with crypto trading, you need a crypto account. And there are a lot of crypto exchanges like Binance, Bybit, KuCoin, Maxi, OKX, and many more. Now, what you're going to do is to pick the exact one you really want and then get started with crypto trading. But the thing is, not all of the exchanges have the same coins. Like, here's what I mean. Coins from Binance might not be available on Bybit. And there are some coins on Bybit are not available on Mexi and just like that. But if you're getting started with crypto trading, I won't advise you to create one exchange account, but rather create a lot of crypto exchanges account so that it will be easy for you to buy any coin of your choice. Also, some exchanges are actually restricted in some countries. Now let's start with if you're in any of the African countries, you don't have any restrictions at all. You can use any of the crypto exchanges of your choice. But if you're in the US, Canada or UK, you can actually use Bybit, Binance, and some exchanges like that. You can only use exchanges like Maxi, Bigx, and Tobit. So if you're in any of these countries, go ahead and create a crypto account for these exchanges I mentioned. If you're in Asia or any other continent, you also don't have a lot of restrictions. You can use a lot of the crypto exchanges I have mentioned. But if you're in the US or UK, you might be asking me questions like, what if the coin you want to buy is not available on these crypto exchanges? Now here's what you're going to do. For you to buy any coin that is not available on these exchanges, what you're going to do is to create a DeFi wallet and then you start to start buying coins. Now DeFi wallets like Metamax, Trust Wallet and many more, then you're going to go to a decentralized exchange to start buying these coins. I'm going to talk about this in the later part of this video. If you want to find out more details about it, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to talk about that. So now you understand which exchange is suitable for you. The next thing I'm going to do is to create an account with these exchanges. Now I have my link in the description. So if in case you want to create an account, you can use some of my links in the description. But if not, you can go to their website and then sign up right away. So after doing that, the next thing is how to deposit money in a crypto account. Alright, so there are different ways to deposit money in a crypto exchange so that you can use it to start trading. The first method is P2P, which stands for peer-to-peer. -peer. I'm going to show you how to do that shortly after now. The second way is to deposit using your card. And then the final way is to deposit money by transferring from one crypto exchange to another. So first, let's start with how to deposit money with P2P. Alright, so this is my Bybit account. I'm going to use Bybit to this example. But you can use other exchanges like KuCoin, OKX to you to deposit money using P2P. And if you are outside of Nigeria, you can also use Bybit to deposit money using P2P. Alright, so first, you're going to open up the home page of Bybit. Now, the next thing you're going to do is to click on more. And then next, you're going to click on P2P trading. Alright, click on acknowledge. So over here, you can see the buy and the sell section. Next thing you're going to do is to click on the amount and then type the amount you want to deposit. If you're in Nigeria, you're going to type the amount in. You're going to type the amount you want to deposit in, like in Naira. But if you're in any other country, you're also going to type the amount in your country's currency. So for Nigeria, I want to deposit 10,000 Naira. So I'm going to type 10,000 Naira over here. Click on confirm. And it has opened up like this. Now, you can see the first person over here. What I would ask you is to do some filtering so that you don't buy from someone that is not available. This person, the first person here has completed 155 orders and he has done a percentage of 78% and he has completed 78%. And if you look right over there, you're going to see that he's been away for like 18 seconds ago. For me, I don't buy from people with 78% rate because not that they are going to fill you, but it, they might actually delay the payment. So I'm going to look for another person. The next person is about 84%. 
while the next person here is about 99%. So I, I'm, I'm going to go for this one with 99%. So anything between 90 to 99% is fine. So I'll click on buy. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is, on this short section, you're going to type in the amount you want to deposit. I'm going to do 10,100 now, which is going to give you about 8.6 USDT. I can also click on with crypto and then type the amount in crypto so that it's going to give me the equivalence in dollars. So let's say I want to deposit $8. For $8, I'm going to pay 10,200 naira. So if I'm okay with that, I'll click on buy. And now I'm going to click on pay now. So you can see the person's name, the account number, and the bank name. I'm going to blow all of these details so that you don't have to see it. So what I'm going to do is to click on the copy symbol close to the, the account number and then go to my and then go to my mobile app and send this 10,200 naira to this person. Alright, so right now I've sent this 10,200 to this person. I'm going to go ahead to click on payment completed and click on I have paid and click on this check mark over here, and then click on confirm. Alright, so I need to wait for this person to release this money for me. And it has about 9 minutes to do that. So right now, he has released this money. It took less than 1 minute for this to go through. So I'm going to click on done. And I'll go back. Okay. So when I go to assets, over to the funding section, you can, if I click on funding, you can see I have about 8 USDT in my funding account. So now I have this money in my crypto account. I can use this to start trading. All right. So right now I've talked about the first method, which is P2P. So let me show you how to use the second method to deposit money in your crypto account. Okay. So you come back to the home page and then to do that, they will click on more. I'll click on fiat deposit. And it took me to this section. All right, so over here, you can see the euro symbol. If I click on euro, you can select any con any currency of your choice. Now, not all of the currencies are available. So if yours is available, then you can go ahead to use this. So let's say I want, uh, let's say I wanted to go with euro. I'm going to click on euro. And over here, I can put in the amount I want to deposit. So let's say I want to deposit 100 euros. And you can see the payment details I can use. So there is Zen, there's Easy Payments, there's Ad Advanced Cash, and then there's SEPA. So any one that works for you, you can use any of them. But note that there are fees attached to them. The first one is with 0.92% fee. Second one is about 0.08%. And then there are other ones like that. So let's say you're fine with the first one, which is Zen. I'm just going to click on, I'm going to leave it like that. Click on, check, click on this check mark over here. Click on continue. So once you click on continue, you have to put in your card details and then this money will be deposited in your wallet right away. So now you know how to deposit money in a crypto exchange using the card payment method. Now let's go to the final method which is transferring from one crypto exchange to another. Before you can transfer money from one crypto exchange to another, the first question you're going to ask yourself is, what is the name of the coin I want to transfer? Is it USDT? Is it BTC? Is it ETH? Is it Solana or any other coin of your choice? Now, once you know the name of the coin, the next question is, what is the network required to transfer this money to this crypto exchange? Now, all of the coins have different network. Let's take USDT for instance. Let's say you want to send USDT. You can see that there are several networks for USDT. We have Ethereum, we have Victon Network, we have BNB Smart Chain, we have Solana, Algorand, Heku, Journey's Chain, and many more Polygon and much more. If I keep scrolling down, you'll see all of the network. So the question right now is, which network are you trying to send that USDT? One thing you must note about network is some network are very expensive like Ethereum network. We are sending a coin using Ethereum network to send that coin. It takes about $10 as transaction fee. So you might want to leave out sending USDT using Ethereum network. Rather, you can use BNB Smart Chain Network, Solana, Polygon, Arbitrum and many more. So let me go over to my phone and show you how you can deposit money using the transfer method. Alright, to do this, I want to use Bybit to do it. But every of these things I'm doing right here, you can do it on Binance, on Mexi, on Gate.io, on KuCoin or any other exchange of your choice. So since I deposited each USDT in my wallet, I'm going to send this money to another crypto exchange so that you can see how it actually works. I open up my Mexi account and click on wallet. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on deposit. 
and for the coin i want to deposit usdt so i'll click on usdt and right here you can see all of the network ethereum bnb smart chain tron and minimal so for me i want to go with bnb smart chain so i'll click on it and this is my wallet address here so what i'm going to do is to send this eight dollars over to this wallet so i'm going to go back to bybit and for you to do this make sure this money is in your funding account you can see there are three different accounts here unified and inverse account but yours might kind of look different from what i have right here you might be seeing spot trading and derivative trading but note that all of those things falls under the unified trading account so if you have your money a spot trading account you must move it to funding account before you can withdraw it to another wallet of your choice so for me my money is in my funding account but if your money is in your spot account or unified trading account you can click on transfer and over here you can see funding so change this funding to unified trading or spot trading if yours is showing as spot trading and make sure this section here is showing as funding account you're going to put in the amount of usdt you want to send and then click on confirm once you click on confirm now the money will go to your funding account and you can now withdraw it to any crypto exchange of your choice all right so next I'm going to click on withdraw. I'm going to select USDT. Okay, so over here, I'm going to paste my wallet address. And this is my Mexi wallet address. For the network, for the network, I'm going to click on it. And the network I selected there is BSC, that is Binance BNB Smart Chain, which is this second one you're seeing here. So whenever you see Binance Smart Chain, BNB Smart Chain, BP20, they are all the same thing. You don't have to get scared about it at all. Alright, so next, I'm going to put in the amount. Or notice that the minimum amount you can withdraw from Bybit for USDT is about $10. And I only have $8 right here. So what I'm going to do is to get extra $2 and then I'll continue this video. Alright, right now, I have about $11 in USDT. I've actually gotten an extra $3. So I'm going to click on withdraw. And right here, I'll select USDT. So next, I'll paste the wallet address again. And for the network, I'm going to use BP20. That is Binance Smart Chain. BNB Smart Chain is the same thing. So for the amount, I'm just going to click on max. So that's about, I'm sending about $10.69. Now note that there's a fee of about 0 0.3 USDT. Total amount I'm actually withdrawing is about 10.9 USDT, but what I will receive in my wallet is about 10.6 USDT because of the 0.3 dollars they are going to charge me in fees. So I'm going to click on withdraw and I'll click on confirm. So make sure to check that this wallet address is correct. And if it's correct, then you can click on confirm. All right, so my transaction has gone successfully, but note that if you are doing this for the first time, you actually need to get you actually need to get some otp that's sent to your email address and maybe your google authenticator code for this to go through but mine because i've sent to them wallets multiple times i'm able to send to that wallet without having to put in those google authenticator and e email address so that is basically how to send money to a crypto exchange account so right now we'll be able to assess how to choose an e crypto exchange of your choice how to create a crypto account how to deposit money in a crypto account using three different methods but there are a lot more i want to talk about in this video but i won't be able to talk about that because this video is getting lengthy and most persons are not going to watch it to the end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a part two of this video and i'm going to leave a link to that video in the description so make sure to check out that video in the description to find out the rest of the things that you need to get started with crypto trading or if you want to watch that video then click here to watch now.